got to be a lot better. I mean, um, I actually watched the whole game yesterday afternoon. Me and Monte just watched the whole game together in the office, um, which is good. You know, sometimes you show kids clips and you show film and all that, but sometimes it can – you kind of can see things, but when you watch the whole game and you really see the whole flow of the game, I think it really enlightens you on a lot more. And so, first and foremost, we got to start playing in transition. We got to get some easy baskets by playing in transition, by pushing the tempo, uh, the point guard, wings running, bigs running to the rim, sprinting into screens. And, you know, so much of the stuff is when we run our offense and we execute, we, we get good shots. I mean, you could chart the Iowa game and you can see eight or nine missed threes and six, seven, eight missed layups. Uh, but our pace of play has to get a lot better. That's just that's just the strength of our team. And so I got to demand it more and, and I got to make sure we're, we're staying to that. You know, I think I think getting hurt for him wasn't great. Um, they've done a great job of getting him back, you know. Um, you know, he missed that practice time. I think we missed him against Gonzaga in Cincinnati, especially Cincinnati here. I thought we missed him around the basket some. Um, I thought in the Iowa game, you know, he did some good things for us, just kind of some activity around the rim a little bit. The thing as a freshman, if you, when you really break the game down, is he got caught in a lot of ball screen action with Jock, and we got to make sure we know how we're playing that on each possession. And so I think his growth's been good. I, you know, the, the injuries set him back a little bit, but I think he's got, you know, this week will really help him. Uh, this full week of practice uh, because I think he's a guy that, that we got to look to uh, more down the road. Um, he shows flashes of it. Um, I still think, man, he's got so much of a higher ceiling. Um, I'm just going to keep challenging him uh, to, to find, you know, to max himself out because he can be really, he's just another guy on our team that can really make plays for others and put pressure on the rim, uh, whether it's in transition or in the half court. And so he's, you know, I don't know his stats altogether, but, uh, you know, three point shot, that's not his thing. He can make one. He's more putting pressure on the rim, mid range. Um, we've got to continue to, to develop him because I really think he's got a chance to do some good things. Um, you know, first off, you know, I didn't say this the other day, but, you know, this is, I, I, you know, I don't have Ray's number. I would have texted him and reached out to him because this is a tough business, especially when it's great when you're winning and winning 20 games in a row and life's great. But, you know, there's another side of this business that's tough. And so my, my best wishes to him. I was him and Mark Few are best of friends. I talked to Mark for a while when I was out there in Florida or down there in Florida. And so, you know, Ray's a terrific coach. He did a good job. You know, had a great year at Utah, a great job at Eastern Washington. And sometimes it just doesn't work out. And and so um, I don't know Coach Rudder outside of just, hey, how you doing? I'm sure he'll do a good job uh, in this segment. It's a tough situation, I'm sure. Um, I played Drake one time before. Uh, it's funny, it's kind of the same situation. I was at Murray line last year. We were two and four. Uh, you know, I stunk. My players stunk. And then we beat them and won 25 games in a row. Um, and so, um, you know, I don't know Drake's situation well. I've never seen him on tape. And I probably, to be honest, I probably won't watch Drake until maybe Thursday because I'm not really – nothing against Drake. I'm just not really – that's not our concern right now. Um, I don't know how they play. Uh, it, we just need to be about Iowa State this until Christmas.